All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Walter White. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bors Chibaya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Walter White Champion of the World, Kamaru. Nigerian Nightmare Usman! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, bounce your corners, come out there. Alright, so there it is. There you go. There you go. 
Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Kamaru Usman. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspects of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out of it. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Usman. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pretty bad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded. Oh, the defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Well, a lot of these shots with power behind them. 66 total strikes. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Close guard. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Usman. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nice hammer fist. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nice way to do it. That's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Stuffs the tape down there, hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slips through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up with the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the Godfather would be proud. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. 
But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five right. minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Oh, and he caught the kick. Ooh, big shot land. Nice defense there. Huge block. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He needs to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. To it. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And now he's got that tight Boy, tight block. And they separate. Usman gets touched by that kick to the body. Nice strike. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Got the single collar tie. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. He just seems much more confident and comfortable on the feet. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch with the clinch. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Usman gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. He lands a switch knee. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunge. Oh, and there is another knee. He throws that knee almost as if it's a punch. He's landed several in this round, and now you can see some of the damage really starting to show on his opponent. Oh, single collar tie here, and they separate. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Left-right combo is good. Oh, collar tie. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Single collar tie now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. All right, 
he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, round three coming up next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Usman gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. All right, single collar tie now. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. That's a great punch. It does a lot of damage if you can hit him in the body that clean. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Usman gets the tie clinch here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Huge knee land. single collar tie there. Boy, Thai club. Beautiful strike. Oh, connects with the one-two. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Usman goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Knee to the body. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Three minutes to go. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is... Oh! Oh, huge right hand! Oh, Let's go. Usman goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Good stick. Left hand punch with the clinch. Usman gets the tie clinch here. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Muay Thai plump. Big kick lands. Immediately gets the underhook. And they separate. And now he's got the tie clinch. Boy, tie plunk. That knee might have landed there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Battling for hooks. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, 
Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch by Usman. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Throws the right hand there. And now he's got that tie clinch. Boy, tie club. Pretty good right hand. Usman gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible Ready? five. Ready? And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the up. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to the side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Right hand punch in the slim. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Boy, Ty Plump. Oh! Man. Oh, look at that. Really nice work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bont. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. That's it! That'll do it! He got him! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 49 seconds of round number 4. Join the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Hotel Boris Kibaya! Alright, so there is a new world order at 170 pounds. Congrats to the new UFC welterweight champion of the world. I can't say I'm surprised. We've seen this guy on his journey to this championship at every step he looked fantastic and tonight that continued in dethroning the long-reigning champion